Oh my gosh, you guys. I literally go to bed for a test. And I wake up to see this man, Kevin Durant, is a Phoenix Sun. What's up, guys? It's Hamster Knows Who, back with a third video in a row. Uh, I definitely don't think I'll be uploading this Saturday, you guys. This is a lot. But we need to discuss what might just be the biggest trade deadline in NBA history. Never in life did I think that this would all be happening. So I'm going to read this from Shams, you guys, as we're talking right now. So the Nets are trading Kevin Durant to the Phoenix Suns for Mikel Bridges, Cam Johnson, and we later found out Jay Crowder for four first-round picks and additional draft compensation. And guys, this team should be winning it. Uh, the West, bare minimum. If they lost to a Celtics or Bucks, maybe I can understand it. Because you have Drew who could play on D-Book, and Giannis and KD can go back to their matchup. But otherwise, there's not many teams in the West that I feel like can mess with this Suns team. There is only one team that I think off of sheer matchups and matchups alone that can beat this Suns team. And that is the Los Angeles Clippers. Because I think Kawhi on KD can really help. And Paul George and Devin Booker is going to be a great matchup. And that is one thing I need in this playoffs. I beg on everything holy. Everyone stays healthy. And I get to see KD versus Kawhi again. I need it. But guys, this is crazy. The Nets, first of all, look much more rational now. Because I almost had made a whole video about how they lost that Mavericks trade. Because they basically got nothing back. And it looked as if they were trying to just now build around KD with all of these really good role players. But that wouldn't have gotten them anywhere. But now they are rebuilding for the future, people. And this is a tight team. Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, Chris Paul. And honestly, at that point, you probably have someone like Torrey Craig at the four or the three. And obviously, you got to keep Aiton. That is an incredible team. Genuinely incredible. This, guys, is one of the biggest moves in NBA history. And I, I genuinely think this changes everything. The West went from a conference of absolute mid, of just so many teams being injured or not performing to expectations or everyone was just kind of struggling, to now you have the Mavericks with Kyrie and Luka. You don't want to have to play them. You still have the Clippers with Paul George and, a and Kawhi Leonard. The Lakers now got rid of Russ, and they have significantly upgraded their roster, so you don't want to have to play LeBron or AD if they make the playoffs. The Warriors are still a good team, and if they stay afloat when Steph's out, when he comes back, they could probably go back up into the playoffs. And you still have the Nuggets and the Grizzlies. This might be the greatest playoffs of all time. I mean that wholeheartedly. Barring, barring some team just getting absolutely slaughtered or injured prior to the playoffs, we are about to see some greatness. Because, first of all, this Sun team is going to be mid-range killers. You have Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and Chris Paul. The amount of teams that are going to have to play in that awkward kind of defense is going to be crazy. Now, I do think the one issue that the Suns would face is that they did sacrifice some of their defense here for getting someone like Kevin Durant. But at the same time, KD's actually been playing pretty good defense this year too. So you might be able to get someone who can help Aiton a little bit along the rim, which can also help their paint defense, which could be a big deal in the West. And to be honest, you guys, this is incredible. I, I am genuinely mind blown. I woke up, it's 7.30, I get eight messages on my phone. And I am so confused. You would think, I'm thinking someone died. Like, I'm thinking something's gone terribly wrong. But Kevin Durant is a Phoenix Sun. And honestly, this just tips the scales of everything. And now you also got to think about it too. What happens in the East? At this point, it kind of looks like it's Boston and Milwaukee's to take. Philly could also still be a good dark horse, but I'm trusting all of those three teams over Cleveland. And even then, I just think Philly's a step below the other two. Now, if I'm Milwaukee too, I am moving to try and get Jay Crowder immediately. You can give up a first rounder in Grayson Allen, and they would take that if they're the Nets because they want more picks. They're trying to pull a Utah Jazz and just blow it all up. So why not go ahead and move for Jay Crowder to help try and ensure that you can try and win when the time comes. And to be honest, guys, again, I, I think the Suns team will probably end up at the 3-4 seed. 
I think you have to remember too, Katie is still hurt for however long. Now, I don't know if that's necessarily all true and if or if that was just, oh, we might move KD, so we need him on the bench for now, and we don't want to risk, you know, further harming the guy we're trying to trade. But guys, I genuinely just do not know who is competing with this Suns team at their best. I think it's the Clippers, the Bucks, and the Celtics. And maybe the 76ers, just because of the problems and B would give that team on the, on in the paint. In general, because again, we saw what happened when Giannis had to go play against Aiton, and B's going to have a field day. But guys, this is just, I'm honestly just mind blown. This, these are, again, my raw reactions. There's not a whole lot of analysis going on here. This is just, I think this makes everything different. First of all, Chris Paul could finally get a ring, which I would love to see. Kevin Durant could finally be the number one guy for sure on this team. But this is a legacy year for a lot of these people right now. Because I can't lie to you, if Kevin Durant, barring Devin Booker getting hurt or himself getting hurt, if they do not get past the second round, I, we need to have a real conversation. I, I'm being so serious. Like that That's a real talk we would need to have here, people. They need to make it out the West. The only team, again, I would excuse them losing to is the Clippers. Because I think the Clippers just have a really good matchup for them, and they have role players who can help outproduce the Suns role players. But guys, I really wanted to thank you all for all your love and support. Please subscribe, leave a like. I see the subscriber count has been stalling out, but it is what it is. So I really wanted to thank you guys for all your love and support. And guys, the Phoenix Suns have just tipped the scales of the entire NBA. As always, this is Emster No Soups, guys. Have a blessed rest of your day. No video on Saturday. Peace out. Peace out.